Hey guys, RC Jedi here. This is going to be the review and run of the HBX, aka Hey I Boxing Hailstorm, which is the 16885 or 18858 um, Truggy. There's also the monster truck version of this car. I did pay $99 back in 2020 which was four years ago. I've had this car for four, three, over almost three and a half years now. So, so yeah, this car does come four-wheel drive, ready to run. It's 118th scale. It's four-wheel drive. You can also get this in the red version, but I think this car is discontinued. So I tried to look it up. But you can't really get these anymore. These are pretty rare. You can't. You. I don't know if you can still get them online anymore. I. I think you can probably get the monster truck version, which is the rampage. But the hailstorm has this one's the original version. They also updated it with a better chassis, different tires, different body, etc. So the reason why I'm doing a review on this is because I am selling this one. It's because it's not really a bad car. It's been a very good little basher, like, I did take this car to the skate park, as you can see on the body. Like, the body has been scratched a lot, and you can see a bit of duct tape right there. Because I gave this to a few little kids, and they've crashed this thing into, a, into the curbs and that. So, yeah, this one is 118th scale, um, it's completely beaten up. I... Never had that much issues with it. The diffs are plastic, but I never had to replace any diffs. This is a plastic chassis model. Like, for the price I paid, I don't expect it to be a metal chassis. It's 118th scale. I'll take the body off. So, yeah, as you can see, the body, I did duct tape the shell up because to make it stronger. As you can see right here, right, yeah, you got a split there. It's been to the skate park. It's a bit worn out. I'm pretty sure you could still get parts for these online. I think a brand new body is like 20 bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely taken a lot of hits. So, on to the main chassis. Um, I never had that much issues with the chassis. The only problem I had was I had to replace the motor, of course, because it's a brushed motor. They can burn themselves out, so yeah, it doesn't have any motor connectors, so if you want to change the motor, you've got to desolder these, this plug right there, and then there's a the yellow one for negative and positive, so if you want to change the motor, it's just do that, instead of like, um, that's the one bad design, so I don't have a soldering iron yet, but I probably will get one, so also this car does have a JST plug on it, it does... These come in a few of the 118th WL Toys cars, which is good because you can also adjust the um, height of the um, battery. I'm pretty sure you can move that up a little bit. Yeah, you can, right here. Yeah, you can take that screw out. You take this screw out. And you can raise it up there so you can run a different, bigger LiPo. It's got a... Sorry, phone. Sorry, guys, for blurring. It is a. It's got a metal metal drive shaft right down there. All the rest of the drivetrain is plastic. Also, you can get metal metal CV joints. I never broken any of the plastic ones, but you can buy metal CV joints. Also, I've upgraded the shocks to aluminium because stock they're bouncy. This is not as bad. Suspension is not that bouncy. The steering servo is a five wire. So the car is basically all plastic, which is a good thing. I've also replaced the front shock tower with, might have been the monster truck one, because I had a head-on collision with my Trax Rustler. Someone else was driving the Rustler, I was driving this, and the Rustler is a bit more expensive. It's very this car is very tough like for the price that you pay for it the main 
So yeah, um, we'll look at the radio next. Let's put the body on him, on this car. So the radio, this does not come with the car as standard. Like when I bought it, it came with another radio, which was very small. This one does work. This radio does work with this car because I did test it off camera. This is a good radio because it's got steering trim, steering dual rate, and the speed switch, which, oops. So if you're into the hobby, you can turn up all the way. Also, it's got steering switch, throttle reverse, on and off. It's got a bind button. So the ergonomics are pretty good. You can still film and drive at the same time. It is proportional, which is a good radio. Takes three AA batteries. Takes three AA batteries. Also, the battery that for the car is a two cell, 800 milliamp hour or 700 milliamp hour lithium ion pack. It does come with a USB charger to charge up the battery. I think it'll take like an hour or two hours to charge up the car. So if you want to charge up faster, buy a fast hobby grade charger and make sure you get an adapter with this connector on it so you can charge it up easier. Because this car is a very good starter car for the kids or for like anyone that's new to the hobby. But sorry, you can't get this anymore. There's also a V2. So I never, I don't have the V2 right now, but I might do a review on that one so yep yeah, so i will take this out for a little drive so i'll see you guys in a few minutes so here it is um outside um i'll show you how the um speed works this is um turned all the way down this is like a bit too slow, but good for like little kids so they can have a go. Good little speed. Good little speed. See on a quarter, half power. So a bit faster than this is half power bit faster, still controllable. So, this is up all the way now. Bit, bit nippy, but it's running a 380 brush motor, so Oh. Oh, takes that pretty well. I'm doing a video. Sorry about that guys. It was just um a little a kid that was wanted to talk to me. So, with this um, Truggy, with this Truggy, it's a um, pretty good little Truggy. I will do another video where I take this to the skate park and just see how it does. Little bit of off roading. Oop.
So yeah, guys, um, that is the um, run and review of the um, Hay Eye Boxing Hailstorm. I really do like Hay Eye Boxing cars because they're very cheap. They're very affordable too. So, and this one is no exception. It's a good little truggy, good little car for the beginner. So make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Because let me know... Um, if you want me to review a rock crawler on my channel next, because I will get a crawler soon for my channel and do get, because I don't have a crawler, so I will do a rock crawler video. So for now, this is the review and drive of the Hayo Boxing Hailstorm. This is one, I think this one is discontinued, but so I wanted to get this video out to show my opinion of the Hailstorm and. If you look on the side, that's not how you spell hailstorm. They need to fix the R and the O around. That that's how you sp it's hail strong. It's hailstorm, not hailstorm. So, yep. Yeah, so make sure you like, subscribe. I'll do a comparison between this and the lively Truggy, the one eighteenth scale one, and see which one is better because they both come in around the same price tag. So yeah, this is RC Jedi. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'll do. Some, sorry for not uploading in the past few weeks because I gotta try and make some content. So yeah, that's my excuse for not uploading for a few weeks. So thank you guys for subscribing because now I have just over a hundred subscribers. Thank you guys. Um, that's one of my goals. So now I've actually hit it. So I want to try and hit um, 200 subscribers by the end of this year. I know we can do it. I'm only a small YouTube channel. So, yep. So yeah, I will do some. I will do some more running videos. I'll do a skate park video with it. So yeah, this is RC Jedi. Subscribe. Stay tuned. See yous.